software really matters. It, it's becoming a, an important asset. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a relevant asset. It's really key for your organization. And therefore, then it becomes absolutely strategic and really strategic. It's like your business process to deliver, to develop, test, and deliver software in the most you know, excellent way. It doesn't matter if you're a software house. It doesn't matter if you're a bank. It doesn't matter if you're insurance. Actually, insurance you saw was really at the top. You all really need to be able you, you have to be excellent at developing, testing, and delivering software. And that's why we're here. That is the only reason why we keep talking about you know, agile, DevOps, continuous delivery, continuous integration. It's because we want to make our businesses more successful. It's absolutely crucial. And the question is, well, why is it, you know, why is this about, uh, you know, what's the impact on the development methodology and the testing? Why does it really matter? Well, this is about speed. That's where speed comes in. The speed that we are faced against is unprecedented. You know, I used to develop software, and my business always told me, when I asked them, when do you want something? When I asked them, you know, when do you need this? It, the answer is always yesterday. But now it's different. It's like, you know, the Amazons that deliver software every 11.6 seconds, or deploy software every 11.6 seconds. And I understand you might say, well, we don't need to deploy every 11.6 11 seconds, uh, and I will come back to that. But the point is that the release cycles are just, are just becoming shorter and shorter. And as those release cycles and the development process goes from larger iterations to smaller iterations, we need to get a lot of stuff done in that short time. <laughs> and that's really challenging. And by the way, it's not just speed, it's speed with quality. And this is where testing becomes a problem, because the old school of testing is that the more testing we do, if we do it right, it will improve quality. But on the other hand, if testing is an afterthought, as it is in many organizations, what happens is it's between having developed the software and going into deployment or to the next stage, and it kind of feels like it's going to stop me from, from delivering faster. The business is going to, you know, sometimes business doesn't matter, just deploy, it's the date that's important. Although we know that these days that's completely changing because a bug going into production in the age of digital is a real big problem and it you know, hits the wire, it hits the, the news and everything, so it becomes a big problem. Just very quickly, what does speed mean? I have a very simple definition. You know, the cadence at which you deliver production-ready software. How fast can you pull from an idea at the, at the higher level from idea to... Uh, to something that gets deployed into production and I start making money about it, or how fast can I deliver smaller features in production quickly. And from a quality perspective, this is the formal definition. My definition is two things. Quality for me means, am I delivering the right things for the business? That's the first element. And the second element, am I delivering it right? Which is the technical aspect, right? Without bugs, it's reliable. It's doing the right things for me. And the question really becomes then, how do I implement this concept of quality at speed? If you think about pit stops, right, the pit stop analogy, I think, works really well on how we need to think about how testing needs to change. Pit stops have gone down in the last 10 years from 8 to 9 seconds down to 2.3 seconds. And in 2.3 seconds, these guys change four, ti you know, four tires, the wheels, they add some gasoline because... If they don't have to load the car with gasoline, it can go faster. So the, if I can calculate the right amount that I can just put on the car and then maybe have it stop and put more of it, I can be faster. And they turn pit stops into the concept of winning. These guys now do more pit stops. Pit stop has become a differentiating element of the race. It's part of the strategy. And so they've turned pit stops from what, which is keeping the quality of the car really high, and winning, and not only, but to win the race, right? It's to be faster. It's to, it's, to win, it's to win the race. And I think that's how we need to think about testing. But it also is about continuously testing. These guys also test continuously. Testing is, is, is happening from the very first moment when they start thinking about the design of the car to every week they keep testing. They test while they're you know, while they're, while, while, during the week as they uh, uh, make adjustments to the car, they test when they're just 
when they're driving the, you know, the day before they do all the tests, and they test during the race, actually. So it's about continuous testing. So those are the things I think we need to do to become, you know, to really change this concept that quality at speed, how can we do, you know, we speed up quality while, you know, while we, we deliver fast, but we still, we can't compromise on quality.